Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Fannie Willis has been caught, folks. Caught on video and there is no escaping. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. Folks, Fannie Willis, in my opinion, when she testified in her disqualification hearing with about her affair with her lover and fellow prosecutor, Nathan Wade. I think she lied like a rug. But me thinking it isn't the same as actually proving it. You need hardcore proof. If you're going to charge somebody with perjury, if you're going to end their career, if you possibly are going to put them behind bars, you better have proof. Fortunately, we do. Oh, we have proof on video, indisputable proof, that she lied under oath on the stand. See, when she was talking, she couldn't shut up. She was so cocky, so proud of herself, so enamored with herself. And she couldn't stop talking. And she didn't even wait for the judge to say she had to answer this question before she answered it. She answered a question and said she's never been to, the, she was never at the White House before this case. Never was at the White House before this case. May have visited some friends in D.C., but she wasn't at the White House. Except one little thing. She was at the White House. See, there's actual records of who visits the White House. It's not a secret. And she was there, and we have the receipts. I want you to watch this video first of her testifying that she wasn't there, and then the proof that she was. And then I want you to give me your opinion in the comments of what you think should be done about this. What would happen to you if you lied under oath? Take a look at this video and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. DC one other time. Oh, I went to DC for the Global Summit. Actually, yeah, those were two separate trips. My next question is based on her opening the door, and therefore I'll just ask it, and Your Honor can decide whether or not it's appropriate. When you went to D.C., did you go to the White House? Okay. I did not go to the White House. No, well, apparently I'm going to get the answer anyhow. There you have it. Next question. Okay. You indicated... There's, um, one of the other things I did was I, I did a open records for the, the White House access, and we had records that um, Ms. Willis and the mayor of Atlanta were at meeting with the vice president. Okay, and so this is the access uh, history. H how does that work? The White House keeps records of anybody that comes in and has any kind of official meeting for sure? Yes, and, I, and my understanding is it's, it's highly regulated who, who can access the White House, and so you have to apply in person or apply ahead of time, and then they give you a, a time when you make the appointment, and they give you a time when you're allowed to be in and when you have to be out by, and they track you. And I mean, that makes sense. They don't want anybody, you know, lingering in the, in the White House, um, but but they, they keep that. And so these are, they're called WAVE records, I believe is what they're called, um, and I'm not sure what that's an acronym for, but um, they're publicly available. They're open records. And this record that's shown on the screen shows Fonnie Willis was a visitor with V. POTUS. I presume that's Vice President of the United States? Yes. Yes, yeah. it was. And what was the date of that back in, was that February sometime of 23? February 28, 2023. Is that before the indictment? Yes. Okay. Uh, any further explanation of why Ms. Willis was meeting with the Vice President of the United States? No. Um, I know... Dexter Bonds, and I believe that's the same one that um, Mr. I think it's Dick, Dickinson or Dixon, um, the the mayor of Atlanta, was also there. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We've been going at this for a while. Let's take a uh, somewhere between five and ten minute recess, and we'll be back.